Right on. Okay, hit us with your next mini review, Bob. All right. It's a disaster. 4.5 out of 5. Oh, that's I good. I have to say I love this movie. It, it Nearly perfect. That's what a 4.5 out of 5 is, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what, I, here's what my uh, review is. It's an indie black comedy about couple brunches, couples brunches, and the end of the world. Not many laugh out loud moments, but it has you engaged and constantly smirking with its sharp writing, quirky characters, and stage-like reliance on character interactions. So this is a great movie. It's, um, it's about a people who are middle class or upper middle class, and they get together every Sunday, a group of friends. Uh, it's four couples. And this is a Sunday like no other. You know, they get together and have a brunch, and they have their own quirky personality traits, and they're kind of discussing their first world problems when outside the world's coming to an end. To the extent that we know anything about it, the movie sort of purposely leaves that vague, which works to its uh, advantage. Um, so a bunch of uh, dirty bombs are set off in major cities. That's about all you know. And they're stuck, because if they go outside, then they'll be contaminated and uh, die a slow mm -hmm. death, but if they stay inside, they're probably going to die anyway because you can only last so long inside with sealed windows and doors. So, hence the fascinating premise of a bunch of people who were complaining about first world problems dealing with the end of the world and um, the first things that they think about in that context. And I think it's executed brilliantly. I'm not going to get into specifics because you just need to see it unfold on the screen. Everybody handles the situation differently. You relate to each of the characters in a unique way. You see yourself in a lot of what they do. Um, in some ways, in not so flattering ways, you're like, <laughs> that was stupid of him. But I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I, cool. I kind of thought of you, Logan. I thought of, you know, because I know you're a brunch fan. Brunch. <laughs> uh, Sunday brunch. And uh, not that I assume that you only discuss first world problems and wouldn't deal with the end of the world very well, but I, I, I think of everyone in that context, but you specifically when it comes to, to that happening over brunch. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if this makes you feel any better, by, based on your description, I can sort of see me being in a group of friends like that that gets together every day with brunch, and if that were to happen, yeah, I feel like it's potentially relatable to me too. <laughs> you should definitely see this. This is a good movie for you and for the masses. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think it did so well. Um, it has it had a quirky distribution model. It was released uh, digitally at the same time as it was released in New York and L.A. at a, a limited run. It only made like less than fifty thousand dollars in theaters. Um, but I don't know. I'm I'm holding my breath uh, because I'm hoping that people like me, you know, saying that it's awesome and you should see it, will help boost its image because it's. It's definitely worth paying pre top dollar for. You should pay the five bucks to watch it on demand or whatever. I highly recommend this. this there isn't a better comedy out there. There probably won't be for, for some time. I think it's a great show. Um, so is that a disappointment? Did, is it losing money or is it just a nice little uh, low budget thing that can afford to not make box office records? I can't tell. Um, it does have a pretty decent cast. Um, uh, probably the most expensive person was Julia Stiles. Uh, the rest... And, and maybe Julia Stiles did this on the cheap for them. I, yeah, I, a lot I don't of times know. actors yeah. do that for a little little cute project. Right, and it wasn't expensively made, so to speak. It, it's kind of set in only a couple of locations inside of a house, so it probably didn't cost a lot, but I still wish it would do much better just so that we would see more movies like this produced. 